Renishaw has developed a range of vacuum casting systems along with class-leading customer support. Master models can come from a range of sources. Typically, these are stereolithography models, but the increasing range of CAD-driven 3D printers are also a useful source. The vacuum casting process involves encasing a master model in two-part liquid silicone rubber. A vacuum is then applied to the mold to remove any trapped air bubbles, and then cured in an oven at around 40 degrees Celsius. Once cured, the mold can be cut open and the master model removed, leaving a mold cavity perfectly replicating the master model. The mold segments are then put back together and secured. The mold is preheated in an oven to 70 degrees Celsius, ready to be placed in the bottom compartment of the vacuum casting machine. Polyurethane molding materials consist of two components, A and B. Before casting, these materials are weighed and any required pigment added. The casting resin's components are mixed under vacuum to release any gases which would otherwise compromise the quality of the finished part. In addition to the standard mixing cup, a heated cup is also available to enable wax patterns to be cast. Once fully mixed, the resulting casting medium is then automatically poured into the silicon mold in the lower chamber. When the casting phase is complete, the mold is typically placed in a curing oven at 70 degrees Celsius before the halves are separated and the molding removed. The parts can then be trimmed and polished as required. Once the finished part is removed, the mold is ready to be used again. This highly versatile system can be used to produce a huge range of prototype or final products in both soft or rigid polyurethane resins that exhibit a wide variety of physical properties simulating injection molded polymers.